Okay, this is a video of uh, what I did to install the um, Liberty sump pump water backup system. It's model SJ10. Uh, I bought the sump pump at a local plumbing store. Um, paid about $225 for it. It's a little more than you can get online, but uh, it was worth it because um, that guy gave me a lot of advice. Anyway, I was really apprehensive about doing this myself, but plumbers wanted a thousand dollars basically to do this, so I decided to try it myself, and it was actually not too bad at all. Um, as you can see, the sump pump has a little bracket here and two slots, and it gives you two clamps to clamp to your existing discharge pipe. They also say you can mount it with a block of wood underneath the base if you can't do that for some reason. Um, and the configuration here is just my own way of doing it the way I had to. Because um, you got to make sure that the, uh, the backup sump pump doesn't interfere with the uh, regular sump and all that. So just that's just how I had to position it. Um, the bot, the instructions say you don't need a check valve for the backup, but I put one there anyway. Um, and then also make sure you put a coupler here so you can take this whole s system out if you need to. And I use these uh, quick connects, I think they're called gator bites. Shark, there's shark bite and there's gator bite. They're all the same thing. This is, you gotta use a three quarter inch tube. These fittings are expensive, they're about 10 bucks a piece. So you want to plan ahead to use as least amount of fittings as you can because it, it can add up quite a bit. The tubing is quite cheap though. This tubing here is about uh, $6 for a 10 foot section, so that's nothing. Anyway, I'm waiting for the water to back up high enough. I turn the sump pump off unplugged it. I'm making sure everything works right now and I want to hear I never heard this thing go run yet so I'm waiting for that. Basically this is the water line I had to put in. It's about 20 feet to the sump pump. Uh, maybe 18 feet. You have to put a, uh, a stop valve in there. Shut off valve. And then you just tee into like a three quarter inch line wherever you think this is convenient. And again, they have these quick connects. This made it so so much easier than trying to weld, especially if you're not familiar with welding or soldering copper. Um, you don't have to necessarily drain all the water out. You can connect these when they're wet. Um, none of that matters. And you can connect copper tubes as well as the uh, PX tube. Okay, well I just remembered there when I was doing this video, um, right now I'm draining the line again, because I realized I forgot to put, when you're using this plastic tubing, you're supposed to put these plastic sleeves inside of them. The pump comes with this one here, but um, you know, and when you buy these fittings they also come with them, but when you use copper fittings, copper tubes, you take this plastic sleeve out of there. You only use them for the plastic tube. And I forgot to put that in that one T, so that's what I'm doing right now. I'm going to uh, take that tube off and then um, put that sleeve in and redo it. Okay, they sell these little tools. They're like two bucks and you get three of them. And there's different sizes. This is a three quarter inch size. This removes your tubes. You just slip it over the tube. You push against the blue tool this way, and you pull on the tube that way at the same time. And uh, I can't do that. I don't think while I'm holding this camera. But... No, it takes two hands. All right, so I pull it off. You can see there's plenty of water still draining, but um. All you do is you 
can either stick the sleeve inside the uh, brass fitting first, or I think it's easier just to stick it inside the tube. Stick it inside the tube here. And then shove it in the uh, sleeve. But, you know, they tell you you're supposed to have a proper insertion length of a uh, you know, one inch, one and one eighth inch or so, depending on the size of the fitting. But these things make it so much easier to do this. Okay, so that's back on now. Important thing they say to do is to run. Uh, it says right here on the sticker, purge supply line before connecting the, uh, the to the pump. Um, that's basically if there's a lot of sediment in, inside the line, it doesn't go through the uh, pump and ruin it. Uh, the plumber advised that as well. And the company went through the trouble to put the sticker on it, so it must be a... Uh, it's going to be something you need to do. I've already done it here. But. Okay, I'm still waiting for this to fill up. I'm going to get a bucket and fill it up. Another thing I forgot to mention, um, the instructions say to, uh, you know, for the backup sump pump, it should have its own discharge line separately. Um, I prefer to have it go right into the existing sump pump, so I teed it in. This is done, um, I've seen it done, so I, I'm not sure what the issue was, but he explained a few disadvantages of having it do, done this way, but uh, for instance, you might not know that the sump pump's operating, and you could have a huge water bill. But um, I don't, I don't really think that's possible. If I, I know the power's out and this thing's activated. I also have an alarm here. This is just a little um, simple bat, nine volt battery operated thing. It's about fifteen bucks. Just replace the battery every couple of years. This one's already a year old and it's still like brand new. Um, so it's 15 bucks and worth it. Just change the battery every couple of years. Um, let's see what else. If this discharge tube happens to be clogged, which is rare, I don't think that would, you know, it hasn't happened in 20 years here, so, um, but I've had a lot of pump failures. Um, if that happens to be clogged and then your backup's running, and I mean, there's no way to, uh, get the water out but that's unlikely as well and another thing this pump comes with a vacuum breaker here or it's basically an arrestor so the you don't get backflow into your water line it already has a built-in one so you don't need to buy that the plumber said in order to meet our local code you need you need something extra um, but he said he would never put one on in his, if he had to do it for himself, he wouldn't do it because it's way overkill. You, you don't need anything more than what's already in there. So I took his word for it. Yeah, I think I read that as well. So I'm trying to film this as I'm dumping this water in, so it's kind of difficult. My water levels, they should be set so well. You know, the pump would have already gone off by now. A lot deeper than it would normally. So I'm pulling the water in, and my alarm should go off first before the water backup comes. Um, okay. There goes my alarm. I'm gonna turn that off for now. things like very quiet you know, 
that's it. Okay, I guess he was right. It is quiet. That's it.